my name's Justin and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about the R drive and what it can do for you. Guys, so today's video is all about this. The little R drive system. Now, it's not designed to increase your horsepower or your kilowatts or your torque or anything like that. The R drive system is a throttle controller. So what that means is when you're out in the bush, you have much more control over how you want your vehicle to accelerate like now I can put I'm on E4 at the moment it's a little bit softer setting than my standard one but allows me to crawl over the obstacles even in my 4x2 without having to put the hammer down I'm able to get maximize my torque control to the wheels that's what I well at least that's what I experience whether it's supposed to do that I don't know but that's that's the feeling that I get from using it now I've been using the system for about a week now almost a week a few days and a lot of it was town driving highway driving and I felt a lot more responsiveness sitting in traffic um, especially with bumper to bumper traffic I'm able to set my accelerator pedal to a very low uh, response uh, E9 which is and you know I can just basically push slowly on my pedal or deeply into the car just creeps along nice and easy I don't have to worry about you know going too fast and hitting the guy's bumper in front of me uh, when I'm overtaking someone I put it into uh, the U mode um, normally on U9 which is beast mode and um, I think a lot of guys feel and can relate that U9 makes your van something completely different or your car whatever you want to uh, attach the R drive system to would I recommend the R drive system yes whether you're out in the bush or pulling a heavy load or just day-to-day -day driving the the R drive system makes your drive more comfortable um, like I said it doesn't increase the power it doesn't increase your torque everything it just increases your throttle time so you're able to get to your peak performance if you want to or you can decrease it to as little as you want so if you wanted a high setting put it onto U9 drive around with U9 if you want a very slow setting you want to save as much fuel as possible put it on E9 you know you're going to be taking a lot more time to spool up to change gears you know to get your speed going or you can do what I do and I leave it in AC when I'm driving um, around town AC is an automatic control mode um, so basically what the automatic control mode does is it monitors your driving and it picks up this vehicle speed that you're driving at so if I'm driving at 10 kilometers an hour and I punch it hard it's gonna accelerate slowly but if I'm driving at 120 k's an hour and I want to punch it hard to overtake it's gonna put it into ultimate mode automatically and you can feel the vehicle kick is there a big difference between this mode or even on AC mode and the normal setting yes yes there is a very big difference um, for an example if I was having the van parked on the side of the road or I parked in the, in the parking lot um, I put it up to one and a half or oh, sorry 1100 revs 1200 revs around there I put it into E9 revs dropped to just over idle which is my idles at around 800 rpms so just around 800 rpm just over 800 rpm sorry the e9 sits at that same position on the pedal everything else put into u9 jumps all the way up to just over 3000 rpm maybe 3200 rpm so you you're getting you're getting a significant amount of increase on your throttle response just by changing your settings around um i was speaking to to bush life africa earlier on uh, connor and he was telling me when he comes in the bush as well you know it, it all depends on on what your vehicle likes some vehicles are a bit uh, iffy when it comes to different settings um, but if you set it to a specific one then you you kind of set if you keep it on automatic some vehicles don't like it so far I haven't had any issues with the Isuzu um, it seems to have been enjoying everything um, it's been enjoying the the throttle <laughs> the, the increased throttle because it's singing a lot better now as well um, so yeah today I'm just busy trying it out in the bush um, but yes would I recommend it yes definitely um, is it worth all the harp that they have around it no it's just a throttle controller it's a very good throttle controller that's the difference so if you're looking at getting one of these R drives then just head on over to one of the online stores a lot of the off-road retailers have you can get them over there um, 
or you can go into a shop like 4 by 4 Mega World. Um, they have them in stock as well. You just chat to the, the, the sales guys over there. Ish. They'll advise you on the right one for your vehicle because it all comes down to the, the fitting above your, your throttle, above your accelerator. There's like a little computer box there and this system just plugs in over there. You plug your original cord back on top of it and you see it. Um, the nice thing about the units is that this little control panel is that small. Now, you do get them in different colors. I've seen on the websites for the Australian guys, you get different faces. You get black, orange, red, a whole bunch of different varieties. And, um, you know, they, they're fairly worth the price. I mean, it's, it's not a major a price issue from what I've seen, especially if I have to do a conversion to, to the South African Rand. Um, but, yeah, guys, so thank you very much for watching the video. It's been an awesome time using this iDrive, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to stick around, please like, subscribe, share the video, show it to your friends, show it to your mates. Comments down below. Do you have an iDrive? What settings do you use? And um, let's see how let's see what everyone else uses. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Say cheese. Cheese. And now, if people, what what must they do if they want to carry on watching us? Subscribe. Yep, that's it. They have to subscribe, and then they also have to like. Yeah. And they have to click that little bell, hey? Yeah. Yeah, just click that little bell. You know, it'll help him in and out over here. You click the bell. Click the bell. Cool. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye.